Thank you for watching this PowerPoint presentation brought to you by Southgate Medallion Family Day Home Agency. Please be aware that the contents of this PowerPoint are for private use only and may not be recreated or shown in a public setting. In this PowerPoint presentation, we will be discussing the difference between child-led and adult-directed art. Before we dig into the differences, why don't we start with a question? Why do we provide art experiences in the first place? Well, for one, it's fun. And children enjoy doing art. Art encourages creativity and imagination. Art is a great outlet for expressing feelings and emotions. Art is a great way to explore science concepts like color mixing, shapes, size. Art projects can also boost hand eye coordination and prepare muscles for handwriting. Now let's look into the difference between adult led and child directed art. We'll begin with adult directed art. Adult directed art focuses on the product over the process. Adult directed art has one right way or very limited right ways of doing the art project. The children follow the teacher's instructions. The children might feel discouraged when theirs doesn't look like the teacher's does. All of the art ends up looking very similar. And young children might end up needing a lot of direction and help from an adult. As you can see in the example of the unicorns here, a lot of the creativity has been taken away. The teacher spends time tracing or cutting out ears, the nose, the unicorn, and the children are just asked to simply glue pieces to the plate in order to make theirs look like the teacher's looks. Now let's take a look at what child-led art can look like. Child-led art focuses on the process over the product, so it's actually the opposite of adult-directed art. In child-led art, nothing is right or wrong. Every child's art will probably look different, and that's encouraged and celebrated. Child-led art encourages creativity. Child-led art inspires self-expression. Children feel proud of their work. Child-led art allows everyone to enjoy at their own level. As you can see in the example of the picture here, there's a branch set out on the table with different pots of paint and some paint brushes. Now in this activity, children can learn color mixing. They can discuss the textures of the paint on their hands or how it sticks to the rough wood. It builds a sense of community as the children work and paint and explore together. And it's just a really fun activity that the children can all enjoy together. Now let's take a look at product art which is just another word for adult directed art. Product art uses pre-cut materials. Product art uses the teacher's version as a template to copy. The teacher does a lot of prep work for the children. The children need to follow directions and all their art looks very similar. It places an emphasis on how the final product looks over enjoying the process. And young children may become in, uninterested and even walk away. If you notice children in your program are getting up and walking away or they aren't coming to the art table, they're just not interested, maybe consider putting out some child-led art or some process art. Now let's take a look at process art, which is another word for child-led art. When doing process art, we tend to use a lot of loose parts. 
We can also use a source of natural inspiration. For example, a vase full of flowers on the middle of the art table. Some children might look at the flowers and decide they want to draw or paint flowers on their paper. Another child might decide to take the, the flowers out of the vase and use them as their paintbrush. Yet another child might decide to paint on the flowers and make them blue or green or purple. All of these processes are wonderful ways for children to explore, learn, and express themselves through art. With process art, teachers provide materials and may add materials based on the children's interests. Another example of process art is to put music on and see how their art changes to fast or slow music. We can also go outside with pencils and paper on a clipboard and let the children draw whatever inspires them. As you can see in this picture, the child's using the tree as her easel and also as her inspiration. Children of all ages can engage in child-led art. Now let's discuss how to start offering child-led process art. If you have a hard time offering child-led art opportunities, consider why you want the art project to look a specific way. Maybe it was the way you used to always do art or your teachers always encouraged you to do art. It's just a good time to take some reflection and, and think about why that is. What is the ultimate goal of doing art in early childhood? Is it to explore and express ourselves, practice hand-eye coordination, prepare little hands for writing? Now try and consider what types of art could lead to these goals. Consider placing out some loose parts or alternative canvases like tin foil or wrapping paper or even cloth and just see what happens. Here are some examples of loose parts you can collect for open-ended art experiences. Cardboard boxes, paint, crayons, markers, ice cube paint, shells, tissue paper, glue, coffee filters, paper towel tubes, stickers, stamps, flowers, leaves, sticks. Why don't you take some time to go around your house and see what kind of loose parts you might have lying around or take the children on a walk outside and see what natural loose parts you can find. Create a loose parts art bin and just allow the children to take the lead and show you what they can create. As you can see in the picture here, you can lay out the loose parts in a interesting way, like using a muffin tin or any other kind of tray you have, um, and just let the children explore and, and learn together. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this slideshow inspired you to try some child-led process art. I've linked in the references used for the photos in this slideshow and also added some additional resources uh, for inspiration on child-led process art. Have fun creating with your little ones. Thank you for watching this PowerPoint presentation brought to you by Southgate Medallion Family Day Home Agency. The PowerPoint contents are the intellectual property of Southgate Medallion Family Day Home Agency and cannot be reproduced, replicated, or used for public viewing. The contents are for personal viewing only. Thank you for watching.